So welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me and watching this video. So if you like um, the content that I'm going to be providing, please just subscribe and like this video and also share your comments share what you'd like me to improve what you'd like me to cover so, so let's get on right to it i'm just your average girl so that's what brings me to china <laughs> so as you have seen from a le video how i came to china on a negative balance so basically, if you get in China, you broke with nothing, zero. Rand, you broke nothing, you broken, you get nothing, basically. I've never imagined my, um, I've never imagined myself living abroad or in Jemi, in Awongi, in Vagasha, in Peshea, I go, Marake, it's Lala's cold. <laughs> Now we once. So basically I um, applied for a job on Google. So you can find jobs on Google. Teach away. Just search for teach away and you'll find jobs in Asian countries. If Ngiti I came to China on a negative balance, guys, the process of moving to China it's quite lengthy and costly maybe if i can calculate the cost it's around four or five thousand not counting the flight ticket so four or five thousand for some people it's just it's it's just change but for me for <laughs> umuntu four thousand is a lot of money and at that time i was earning more than four thousand so a police clearance it's 114 rands i did it and it takes two to three months mabesho unless if you do it in pretoria that's where the head office is and it takes like three weeks if you do it there so now linda gave two months for corner and i went back to verulam police station only to find uguti the low low e police clearance am ayik manguza bangjel uguti oh sometimes it takes three months so i have to wait guys i was supposed to leave in march so i had applied for my police clearance in december sengi yagoi checka in february they don't have it there's an agent who deals with um, um like the process of moving to China so you need your documents to be authenticated you need to authenticate your degree you need to authenticate and notarize your TEFL as well as your police clearance so I called this agent told her um, my situation and then she said since I had already applied for oh so since I had already applied for the police clearance, what she can do is she can check on the system to see how far um, they are with the process. So she checked. Guess what? There was nothing. Begunga Konix under my name. They've never received the application. Basically, guys, if you are going through a lot, if you are breathing through the wound, so the agent was charging me 1500 for my police clearance i had already paid 114 rand guys and 114 rand so I wasn't about to pay you 1,500. Very big now, very, very big now. So, <laughs> I mean, 
<laughs> Anywho, um, I decided to just go to Pretoria myself, tell them what had happened and just take it from there. So I went to Pretoria, it was my first time going to Pretoria. And the man, I took a bus, I took an overnight bus. I didn't fly. Fly. Cool pillar. And by 10, I was done. But if I see I'm a mover, it was at 6. So Salantin. So Salanginzin. A Pretoria from 10 till 6 p.m. Luckily, a friend came through at how girl, I know you in Pretoria, so if Gwen Zega or Uban is cut, just come to Stanton and yeah, Jay, let's catch up. I took um, I took a how train, Gilambenya, Faglom Zoos. Yeah, Gule McDonald's, bought myself food. It's in Yatla, we how train at what? We don't do that here. This is not Metro Rail. <laughs> so then six, I went back home, I went back to KZN. Um I went to Santin on a Monday. Thursday I received an SMS saying that I should come collect my police clearance. Guy P. Mad Guy P. Mad. guys. Mina, I was broke, like broke, broke, but gay P. Like, yeah. A secular po manch, a secular po, a si secular po. Marangani broke. Yeah, so I had to wait for end of the month. Match. I went back to Pretoria, collect. So, a bus is cheaper, guys, but if you are broke, everything is expensive. But, a bus was cheaper. So, I took an overnight bus again. Malale Pasini, I was in Pretoria. This time I had a bag because this time I had more things to do. So, I didn't know how long it was going to take me. So, I had a it's cool. Not your just in case. No, 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 no. Like your actually big, big bag. Yeah. So, I'm going to Pretoria. I'm going to a head office here, Shandisle. I get my police clearance. This time I'm a bit more prepared financially. I'm not happy, but I am prepared. Okay, so um, this time, then Uparisha babes. Uba, Uba, Uba. Girl, oh girl. Ngin, umo girl. Umo girl, opashin. Opashin, umo girl. Umo girl, where you came? Goes to Derko. That's where you authenticate your documents. Derko is far from central Pretoria. So, Jay, hey guys, yeah, I ended up spending around around 1k or 1.5 on transport because no, you need to start from the lawyer and a lawyer needs to notarize your TEFL. You need to go to the higher department of education and learning or education and training. I can't remember exactly. And you need to go to the high court. So those are all the places you need to go to and my Dewey Pretoria Anyazi, so I had to go back to all these places. So I luckily I met a guy. I met a guy, um that Derko. So now I big up business and then business. And then he gave me a contact of a lawyer. So I had e I had the address, so I had the e lawyer and James Yaz put him so I wait lawyer because Googling. Google. I'm going to go to the 
So do the things that need to be done. Make the parts to be done. Make the things that make the parts to be done. And he did. And then I was done. I went to the, high, the Department of Higher Education and Training. And then from there, I went to the High Court. When I was done, let's rewind. Olaini, guys. Olaini Abase High Court. Yay. Now we understand that we seem to have got a good life with Kwame Sindaganan. But I was done. I think I finished at around half past 12 to 1. At Derrico, they closed at 12, so there was no way of going back to Derrico. I had to go back to Santon with my ugly ass self, with my big luggage, and just suck it up and just go there. My friend this time was working, so I had to wait. <laughs> okay, how train again? Mang figa ke this time. Mang figa ke Emmanuel Square, guys. Kwavili wade. I'm putting umbrella. I'm putting nix. Kwavili wade, guys. However, <laughs> yo, I shame. But ke imvula.
so I thought, okay, yeah, I got everything done and I went back to Derko. There is a way, there is a cheaper way of going to Derko than using e, e Uber. So you can use Kunalama bus, uh, seven, uh, how train, I think my how train bus. I'm not sure what they're called, but Ane Kati from Hatfield, they have specific times. I am now at Derko. So you can just take a how train with a Hatfield from Hatfield, take the how train bus and go to Derko. It's much cheaper that way. I only found this out on my last day of going to Derko. My heart. I think I'm going to his way. But okay. Yeah, everything was sorted. I got Derko. I got Derko, they don't do your documents same day. So you give them, depending on how many you have. Even if you have one, they don't do it the same day. But you can get it the following day. So I think I had like four that needed to be authenticated. So okay, I was able to come back the following day and collect. So everything was good. Um, I had a good time in Santon. Went back to KZN. So now I think everything is ready. Oh girl, we are humble. Okay, so you boy appreciate. So I submitted everything. Then bank in medical certificate. Yo, I thought I was done spending money on this thing. Mind you, Angaga, I haven't even started saving for Imalie plane ticket. Now I have to do medical? I thought I was done spending money on this thing. I mean, I have a little money to spend that, but okay. Yeah. I'm a medical corner. I wanted to cut corners, but this is China. Everyone knows who to China is strict. I wasn't going to take chances, so I did it the legit way which ended up costing me around 1.7 for all the tests if they don't take you if you are sick if there's a sickness that you have a disease but a serious one or maybe you have all cancer i think things like that they don't take you listen baby girl uh, your results are ready you need to come to my office it's urgent I'm like, eh. I felt my heart breaking. I was like, Ibo, after all this money I've spent, is it possible that I'm sick? Basically, there's this thing that's been trending. Guti, Whitney Houston asked Guti, where do broken hearts go? Eventually, they go, apparently, apparently broken hearts go to China. Guys, I agree with you 100%. Yay! It is a yummy. It pukile. Ya puka. Ya puka. I pull up a fan. No. Naska so sad. Nabu pela egg egg. Go tag egg as you cook in a pukik. But it process you good. It's a ing. Pull it. It is you guys and everything. After get oxap me tag everything. I had to wait for them because they also had to apply for my visa i think i can't remember exactly what they had to apply for they sent it to the government's office and it takes 14 days so they go april march we in april i was supposed to leave in march we in april so i waited each and every month there was a heartbreak a particular denali process you was a time each and every month because i am the book but i waited low 14 days after 14 days guys it has been unsuccessful okay but okay the reason being with my document swami they were in black and white i scanned them in black and white on purpose because guys i had the ugliest picture i had the ugliest picture so i was trying to like camouflage it by not putting color but it didn't work so i had to take another picture um now scan my documents again in color this time and send them through another 14 days of waiting so now this time i, I was certain with ike so farewell outing j girls night out so groove over my last because j missing out as in 
<laughs> I went to town, looked for, I had a specific outfit on my mind. I wanted an animal print dress, snakeskin dress to be specific. We got robbed. We were mugged. But Tata is kwama, is as in an idea me. It's kwama, is as in my phone. Like they took our bags basically. Me and my friend, we're not the type of if something happens, oh, Uma, send for the Luma. No, we, we just, we deal. See, I deal like a shame. In life, it's a new say, a cool and you deal and you say, we eat was it. But La Paya. heartbreak. At that time, I couldn't afford losing a phone, but I did lose it. I had go dancing. If was nai, we go dala. Nezi ye inga. Sis over depressed, guys. Guys, si 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 banjui kuzi. Asna niks. So guys, no. But after I get we go dance. I get get get. Like nezi I was I was I was okay. Like it's fine. It's life. It happens. We sorted everything out. But I had no phone. So. And then on Monday, I then and it happened and, and asked them to communicate with me through or via emails because that was the only um, that was the only means of communication that I had that I via my email. And then I got my work permit, went to Mhlanga. Uh, what's that place? Oh, embassy. Is it the embassy? Yeah, I think it's, it's the Chinese Chinese consulate or Chinese embassy. Angsa Kumbulgas. But I went there uh, to apply for my visa. Uh, e visa is 860 rands. So I had to wait again on in Mklanga classified. I eventually got myself this. I told you like a second hand yami. I have a China. Everything was okay. Yeah, but I, I never got to fix my because I think two days before I left SA, I never got to fix my um, cell phone banking as we speak. I'm not cell phone banking. So I eventually, after after everything, I told them, hey, listen, I cannot afford to pay for a flight ticket. So they were generous enough, kind enough to offer to buy me the ticket. So they were gonna deduct from my salary. And yeah, they paid for it. I got to the airport late. He flight young Shia. My first ever flight young Shia. The flight took a is call guys. Mangboos again, but I need to pay 10,000 rands so that I can be booked for the next flight. I book guys. Kiss this little sanat. Yes, I'll. But Jay. Sometimes you gotta double visa. There are situations where you have to like double visa so that people will feel for you. A double visa, guys. I got double visa, Japan. And eventually they helped me, but I had to pay 5,000. So I already had 3,000. And um, uh, my colleague. Girl, thank you. And she helped me out. Yeah, and yes, here we are. And yeah, because the school, the school said they're not gonna pay for. Um, they're not gonna pay. They're not gonna pay for me. Um, camp. So I had to figure it out myself, guys. Joagish, good. In this young, if you get it means. Meat. If you eat them, it means meat. But okay. China has been so good. Moving and actually coming to China was the best decision I could have ever made. So now I'm here. I'm in China. Uh, basically, guys, I have um sing bonis into a ningi la China. So basically, on this channel, what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be sharing with y'all my experiences 
um, in China. So you can tell me what you want to know, what you'd like for me to cover, because um, I've never been, before coming to China, I've never been outside of South Africa. So actually moving to China has opened my eyes and I got to like see the world from a different perspective and just see it with like different people, different vibes, different culture. So yeah guys, what I'm gonna be doing on this YouTube channel, I am gonna be sharing with y'all my experiences in China. So I see, let's get to know China together. Together. <laughs> yeah, and I'm not gonna lie. China has been good. China has been great. China has been amazing. I'm happy I moved. So that's how I eventually moved on a negative balance because I missed my flight. And with the thousand that I had, I had to pay for, um, I had to pay for flight. So the 3,000 rands that I had, I had to pay for missing a flight and them getting me um, another ticket. So basically, here we are. It's been six months and we're still happy for watching this video. So if you want to get to know China with me, just subscribe. No more of the sad stories. Just but I'll be sharing everything. I'll be sharing everything. The errors that happen when I try something, uh, the um, successes that happen so that you know, Uti, we're not always winning. We're not always winning. We lose some and we win some. So when I lose some, I'll share. When I win some, I'll also share. So thank you. Mwah. See you on the next video.